Today I bring you a very simple tutorial of the image collage function of DaVinci Resolve. This consists of putting several of your videos or images on the screen with a background. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, you must place your videos that you want to add to the collage, one on top of the other on the timeline, just like this example. Done this, we must import any background and place it just below everything, below all the videos of the cats. After adding the background, we have to select all the video clips, except the one at the top and the one at the bottom, and move them to the other side of the timeline. Next, we click on the video at the top, and we go to the effects panel. We click to display the menu, and you have to go to the section Open FX Filters. We click, and now we have to look for the effect Video Collage. Click on the effect and drag it over the topmost video clip. Now everything appears backwards. In the background, we see the cat, and the red background appears in the collage. But don't worry, we'll fix it. Click on the video above and go to the effects section. If this menu doesn't appear, you have to click where it says Inspector. Now we click on Effects. Now we can see the video collage menu. Here we can modify all the parameters of this effect. We can change the number of columns and rows. In my case, I have six videos of cats. So I'm going to put three columns and two rows. Also, you can modify the position of the screens or round the edges of these screens. You can even make them completely round. Okay, I think I'll leave it more or less like this. And now I'll modify the margins so they take up more space. Finished. I already have the screens as I wanted. Once you've finished retouching the collage screens to your liking, the next step is to fill all these screens with the videos of the kittens. For this, we must go to the collage effect configuration where it says workflow. Now we must change create background by create tile, as we now see the collage is displayed correctly. The cat is on the small screen and the red background is where it should be, but we only have a small screen with the black cat. We would need to add the other cats in the other five screens. To do this, we have to select a clip on top of everything, right-click and search, copy. The next step is to select all the cat clips that we have previously placed on the right. We select, we right-click on any of them, and we look for the option Paste Attributes. Normally in this menu, all the video options are selected you must deactivate everything by clicking on Video Attributes. And now select only the Plugins box and click Apply. Thanks to this, what we have achieved is to copy the collage effect that we have done previously to all these video clips. Now select all the videos and move them to the left so that they are one on top of the other. We cannot see all the cats since they're below the clip of the black cat. To place the videos on the screens of the collage, click on the video of the second cat, go to Effects, select the section of Tile, and now select the screen on which you want to put it. We see that now it appears in its place. You simply have to place each video on its corresponding tile. Now it's on Tile 4, Tile 5, and the last cat will go in the 6. Okay, now we would already have all the videos placed on your site. In case you see the final result and you're not convinced how the videos are placed, for example, I want to put this gray cat with the lights down in the middle, it's very easy. Select the clip of the gray cat and put it on Tile 5. Now I select the cat that was on Tile 5 and I put it on Tile 3. That easy. Now I want to show you several effects that you can do in this collage. If we go to the Tiles section and display the menu, Tile Styling, here we can add a border to the tiles of the size and color that you want. If, for example, you want to add a shading to this screen here, select this clip of the cat with the lights and now go to the section that says Drop Shadow. Here, you can modify the intensity of the shadow, angle, color, and other parameters. Very well. Finally, you can also create animations. For this, go to Tile Animation, and here you can configure the animation. You can put only in the beginning, 
at the beginning and at the end. I will put only in the beginning. That only has animation at the beginning of the video. If you want to change the background because you're not convinced by the one you have, select the last clip. That's where we have to put the background. Remove the clip from there or delete it. Import another video in the timeline that you want to put in the background. If we place this new background below, we will have already changed the background. And here we have the final result.